insane. Hey everybody, we have a box of fish here from Fishy Business Aquatics. They are sponsoring this video. They sent these fish to me uh, to unbox and all that good stuff. So we're gonna open up this box of saltwater fish. Let's do it. I will have a link to their website in the description below. So after the video, take a look at their website, see what they got. All right, so the box comes with a list of instructions. So if anything arrives, DOA or anything like that, there is instructions on what to do to claim that, okay? Yep, that worked, guys. So let's see, cut this off. Didn't quite get it, there we go. Lid is off. So as you guys I'm sure can see, I'm gonna tilt the box for you guys. So this is how it was, you saw me open it up. So it's got, you know, this has got a heat pack in it. It's got everything all lined and all that good stuff. And we got the fish inside. So we're gonna move that, move that. This was a filler, which was good. All right, so now it's time to see what we got in this box. So we're gonna go ahead with the first guy. Wow, looking fabulous. We're gonna go over the names a little later on in the video. I'm not sure if you can see this fish, but we're gonna bring it a little closer for you guys to see. Man, whoo, whoo, man, that is beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I like to wipe all the bags down. So here we go, wiping this one down. This guy is gonna go right down there. Let's see what we got next. Wow, oh man, the color is insane, guys. Insane, insane. Incredible, incredible. Sweet, this guy's alive and well looking. You can see right there. Very nice, very nice. Check out this dude. And again, we're gonna go over all the names a little bit later on. Oh, wow. This thing is pretty awesome looking. Whoa. Check that thing out. Whoa, man, oh man. Wow, that is a gorgeous fish. That is a gorgeous fish. Well, we all know the drill. Fish need to acclimate to temperature. So I'll see you in a while. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these fish in here to start acclimating to the salinity. I have this poly filter that I'm using. What it does is it removes toxic ammonia, organics, metals, all that kind of different stuff. And uh, so I had already cut a piece off. This is gonna go inside here so that when the bags of water go in here, obviously there's gonna be ammonia. That will remove the ammonia. We're gonna pull a few of these out at once so that the water level gets up there, you know what I mean? All right, so we're gonna go and cut this off the top of the bag. Out, out, and out. Next ones. These scissors are not sharp anymore. This thing is gorgeous. Wow. And lastly, water in my mouth. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the fish in here. We can see them all down over here. 
and uh, got this again to soak up ammonia. I decided to move them to a bucket. I figured it would be a lot easier and a lot uh, less stress on the fish. And then now this is water from the tank uh, with the salinity that it's at. So we just slowly add some of this in here at a time to help bring that salinity up. What I'm gonna do as well is add a little bit of safe in here for safety measures. <laughs> Just, you know, get a little bit in there. There we go. Just a little bit to help with any possible, possible ammonia issues. There they are, guys. So far, so good. Just chilling and all that stuff trying to get you know used to everything all right everybody so they have uh been acclimating and i feel like they're going to be ready to go so we're going to go ahead and get these guys introduced into the tank i'm going to shut the pumps off right now because i don't I just want it to be nice and easy for them to be introduced into the tank so without further ado let's go ahead and start we got this guy here number one Come on. It's hard to get them. There we go. All right. First fish is the Midas Blenny. Midas Blenny. Let's go ahead and get this guy into the tank. Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Swim away, bro. Very nice. All right, let's go with the next one. We're gonna go with this one here. Come on now. These guys sure are hard to catch in a, on a, there we go, on a cylinder. There we go. This guy, stunning. This is called a Royal Grama. The Royal Grama. Oh, what an absolutely beautiful fish. Wow. All right, let's go with the next one here. There we go. This is a yellow chorus wrasse. Yellow chorus wrasse. What a beauty. Now, those ones are both wrasse, so they're kind of looking at each other down there. All right, we're going to go after this small guy here. Hopes we could get him in the net. There we go. This guy is called a Rainford Goby. Go ahead and get this dude here in the tank. There we go. You'll see it. There it is. Down. There it is. Right over there. All right, two left. This yellow guy right here. Ooh, almost. Almost. Come on, buddy. There we go. This is called a yellow assessor. And last but not least, we have an Aptasia eating file fish. Now, this guy has little pricks on him, and he will get stuck in this net. So we are going to be doing something along these lines. Try to get him in the cup. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's what I wanted. Don't want him to go in here, but actually I don't know why I'm doing that. Just want to get as much of this water out as I can, which that looks like about all of it. Let's go ahead and get him in the tank. There we go. Aptasia file fish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys. I have some mysis shrimp soaked in garlic, and uh, let's see what happens when we pour some food in there. There's some action going on. All right, you can see the Midas Blenny 
You can see the Assessor. You can see the Yellow Rass. You can see the Aptasia Filefish. I'm going to see if anybody else comes out. They're hiding. Underneath the rock, underneath that purple rock right over there, the Royal Grama is chilling under there. He's they're popping out a smidge, trying to get some grub. There, he just went. I don't know if you guys seen that, but he just ducked out underneath that rock. So this yellow guy right here is the Assessor. Going to be an epic fish once he settles in, no doubt about it. And let's see, is there anybody over here? No, I'm expecting fish to be hiding inside the rock. Let's see. There's the yellow chorus wrasse right there in the Tupperware sand. Yellow chorus wrasse, pretty awesome looking fish. Got the Midas Blenny in the rock. Midas Blenny. Aptasia eating file fish. Let's see. Under here somewhere is that Royal Grama. Yeah, the Midas is a cool fish. The look at the the back fin. It's just split. It's like a fork. That thing is so cool. It goes into its rock and it, it relaxes down in there out of the current. And then when a nice piece of mysis comes by, it darts out of its cave. There, like that, just like that. Look at that, that's so cool. Yep, so there you have it guys. Uh, the one fish that is not coming out, I don't see anywhere, is the Rainford Goby. My guess is it's probably hiding in the rock, like I mentioned earlier. Um, but there we go, we'll go through it again. There is the Assessor. Then we got the Midas Blenny, the yellow guy. We got the Yellow Chorus Brass. We got the Aptasia Eating Filefish. And then underneath that rock was the Royal Grama, which uh, he's hiding right now. Let's, I'm gonna go around on the other side and see if we can see him on this side. Because we might be able to. Nope, not looking like it. He's hiding in this rock somewhere. All right, guys, I did spot the Rainford Goby. You could see him right there in the hole of the rock. Like I mentioned, he was definitely in there. Yep, so the fish are all good. It's been almost a day since they've been in the tank. All of them are in and uh, all of them are doing well. We barely spotted the Rainford Goby in there and the Royal Grama under there, but they are there. We did see them. So yeah, fishy business aquatics, guys. What'd you guys think of the video? Some super awesome looking fish. Can't wait for them to go through their quarantine process and you know everyone's well and then so we could get them over here into the show tank that is going to be absolutely awesome if you like the video if you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell comment down below in the description down below i will have a link to fishybusinessaquatics.com take a look at their website check out the fish they have the corals all that different stuff got a lot of things going on over there so make sure you guys check that out if you're able to mention that you came to their website and ordered fish because of my video. That would be super cool. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tanked.